What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dart. I'm back with another video. Today, man, I'm going to switch it up and talk about some hip-hop stuff. And I really just wanted to put my thoughts my thoughts out on the, the Meek Mill issue with uh, the game. The whole little beat they got going. Um, pretty much just the whole thing, man, as far as with him, with Drake as well and Nicki. Like, this whole thing is just, to me, it's just crazy, but I just want to put my thoughts out there for y'all. Some of y'all may be hip-hop fans, and some of y'all may follow it. I just, you know, I'm, I'm hearing about it so much, you know, just from the YouTubers and stuff that I follow. But, you know, as far as, as, far as the beef, you got Meat Mill right now, it's, it's him in the game. They won at it. If you call it that, if that's what you want to call it, uh, before we already know it was the game. I mean, it was uh, Drake. It was Drake and Meek Mill, and everybody know what happened with that. Drake pretty much won won the beef, so called beef, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with that situation, man, I was just when that when that beef started, when I heard about it. Um, I was actually expect, expecting Meek to come out strong. I thought, you know, just do battle rap. Uh, that's what he did. I thought he was going to come out strong against Drake. But Drake, he came out and dropped, charged up. That was kind of light. And then he came out and dropped back to back. And Meek, he couldn't recover, man. And even after he dropped back to back, everybody was just waiting. Everybody waiting, like, okay, what Meek gonna do? Is he gonna drop his hit or what? Then this dude take like a, almost two weeks or a week and a half to to drop something, man. Like, you gotta drop, you gotta drop them bombs. I mean, they gotta come quick. You can't be waiting all day to drop them, drop your track, man. They gotta come hit. They gotta come hard and quick. He took all day with that, and pretty much got slaughtered by Drake. And Drake ain't even a battle rapper, and he beat him as far as the public's eyes or whatever. Now, what we got is the game. And the game's a different type of animal because he's more ruthless with his raps, and he's straight gutter with his raw, uncut. Uh, you got him and Meek. Well, I would just say the game pretty much just right now, just destroying the Meek Mill. He had the, the song Pest Control and the internet went crazy over that. I think Drake's back to back was more of a club banger. I mean, it sounds better to the ear, but Game's Pest Control is more raw, uncut. Um, it's more hurtful, man. If you were Meek, especially Meek Mill, uh, Pest Control, man, the lyrics is crazy. I mean, he talking about his girl, he talking about smashing his sister i mean talking about how he a rat and it's getting crazy man um the game you know this dude from cali man he, he came up under dr dre and them so you already know he coming strong and hard but the problem i get with this whole beef thing is i, I really wish it was more competitive now i'm just a fan of hip-hop you know, I like all hip hop, man. I like Drake, The Game, and me. I mean, I like all, I like all of them, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I just like listening to it, whatever. Uh, but with this particular beef with Meek Mill in the game right now, I just really wish it was more competitive, and it's not. You know, Meek Mill he taking all day to drop hits. He taking forever. Now you got him, uh, him and. Benny Siegel going at it. They got an issue going. It's just getting it's getting crazy, man. And it's like everybody everybody is destroying me. It's like his character is being slaughtered. Social media is slaughtering his image. And I know it's getting to Meek. He don't have to say it, but I know it's getting to him. The pressure is getting to him because if you check his Instagram, he's starting to cut off his comments, uh his comments. You can't even comment on uh, most of his stuff. You can still comment on some of his stuff, but you notice uh, some of the stuff he posts, you can't even comment on it. 
I, I really believe he's tired of hearing everybody's mouth and opinions about him. I'm pretty sure he's getting tired of it, y'all. But I just wish it was more competitive. You got, I mean, the game destroying you, man. You got Drake that destroyed you. Uh, you got Benny Siegel saying he wrote, he wrote a lot of your stuff. He helped you write a lot of your stuff. And that, and that's a damn shame because Meek Mill was the one that said Drake had a ghostwriter. So it's like you a hypocrite type thing going on. I don't, I don't know if it's 100% true, true or not, but it is what it is with that. But it's just not competitive, y'all. It's just like uh, a seven foot two guy playing like a, a four foot four person or something in basketball. Like it's easy work. And I don't know about y'all, but I want to see competition when it comes to hip hop. I don't want to see somebody just get straight slaughtered. Now, I can see if like me get slaughtered once, okay, that's cool, whatever. But now he just getting slaughtered by everybody and <laughs> what else is it what else is gonna happen? Like I'm ready for something else to happen. It is it's like he's handicapped. You know what I'm saying? He's handicapped right now. Dude getting destroyed. You got Nikki they got Nicki Minaj all in it. And the thing about it, she ain't even coming out supporting him far as the beef or whatever. She ain't posting nothing far as well. I don't know that she posting anything. I mean, y'all might know something, but even if she is, it ain't it ain't something that's straight blunt with it. Like she ain't coming out like screw screw the game, screw Drake, whatever. She ain't coming out saying none of that. Uh Meek Mill was just in a bad position. I mean, you got Drake who People say smash Nikki. Now you got people saying game smash Nikki. I mean, we don't know. Those are just opinions, but they got pictures together. Drake got all types of pictures with Nikki. She's twerking on him. I mean, all types of stuff. I, I mean, how can you feel if you was Meek Mill and be and you were beefing with a guy that had your girl all up on him, like twerking on him, giving him lap dances? They went on tour together. Before they, before y'all even knew each other. So, bro, you don't even know if he smashed. I mean, be honest. If it wasn't for Nikki, would Meek Mill even be relevant right now? You know, that's the last little piece that he got. You know, I hope Meek can come back strong, at least make it competitive. Or somebody can help this guy, man. Because <laughs> it's getting bad. And he's just taking too long to drop a disc. You know, he's taking too long. This ain't like the '90s. Y'all know the '90s, man. You drop a if you drop a diss a, a diss track to somebody, man, they coming back at you, the same day, the same week. They coming back at you, regardless if they regardless if they thought they can beat you or not. They coming back. They ain't about to just get embarrassed. They coming back, you know. And that's what I liked about the '90s. It was more competitive. Now today's age, it ain't the competitiveness is is down. You know, Meek just getting destroyed. You know, I just hope. I hope this can end, man. Dude, it's pretty much over for him unless he can prove something. He taking forever to drop hits. Um, like I said, y'all, after this year, I, next year, man, what is he going to do? Like, what is his albums going to do? He still got some fans. I give him that. But if he ever leave Nicki, if he ever do, which I'm not hoping or nothing like that. I really think his his career might be just about over, y'all. And it may not seem like that right now, but in the long run, in the long run, you got guys you getting destroyed, man. This damn near getting to the what's worse than Ja Rule. You know, this worse than Ja Rule, man. They killing you, man. They send you a rat. But y'all let me know what y'all think on this, man. I just wanted to talk about something different today. I know a lot of y'all probably hip hop fans and y'all keep hearing about this beef and all this stuff going on. So man, let's let me know what y'all think of Meek Mill, man. Do y'all think it's really over for this dude? Y'all think his career is done? Or do y'all think this dude will actually back, bounce back and do something? Me personally, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I really don't. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Subscribe, keep supporting, and I'll bring y'all more content. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.